Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to um, this live session. My name is Diane Willock, and I am the customer success coach here with Supermoms in the US. And I'm joined again by Maria Stafford, who is in the UK, and she is our customer success coach there. Uh, we are happy to be here today live again, um, talking to you a little bit about Salesforce and certifications that you should be getting in your first year. And as always, we're here to answer any questions about Salesforce or about the Super Moms training program. Um, but we do get this question quite a bit. I think, Maria, when um, people are just starting off in Salesforce or they're just getting their first certification, they're wondering, you know, what should they get next? How should they proceed? And what type of certifications are, I guess, are the most uh, valued right now and most popular? In the Salesforce ecosystem. Yeah, and it is definitely something that we do get asked a lot about because especially when you're taking those first steps into the ecosystem, you kind you know, you've got that one cert, but there's actually, I think, over 800 certifications that you can get within <laughs> Salesforce. So, you know, that kind of knowledge <laughs> and, and that <laughs> growth is, is yeah. amazing, isn't it? So right. I think generally people who are coming into the ecosystem have got a feel for that learning. And they then want to kind of, you know, check off the admin, but have the next certification potentially in I, you know, in I, in I line, so that they can kind of go for that next and take that next step. Because, you know, as we know, and and as we tell our trainees that are coming through, or people that are interested in training, you know, it really is about that growth, isn't it, within the ecosystem mm -hmm. and making mm -hmm. sure that you are, you know, niching down into different areas. Um, progressive relevant right yeah, right exactly. absolutely so i think if you're new obviously we would say that most people would say if you're new to the salesforce ecosystem you start off with the foundation with the, which is salesforce administrator certification but then um after that you know where do you go um if you're and some of it does depend, I think, Maria, too, on what you're planning on doing and what your career path is. Yeah. Um, so it's a good idea to think about, you know, um, what kind of path do you want to go down? Where do you want to niche yourself? And that might direct you to some of these particular certifications. I think that a lot of admins um, will do what we call the hat trick, right? Yeah. Um, admin hat trick, and that is get your Salesforce administrator certification, then go on to get your um, advanced um, administrator certification and your platform app builder. I'd say those are the three most popular popular ones, especially if you're just starting off in Salesforce. And if you're, you know, thinking that you're going to go into that administrator role, that would be um, three of the certifications that we would recommend right off the bat. Yeah, definitely. And I think also, I mean, they're the most common ones that you would start to explore, aren't they? Right, That's that right. next step. Mm -hmm. And I think also, um, it's probably important to remember that we've also got the associate um, certification. And yep. that can actually yeah. yes. um, be run alongside the admin, can't it? So mm -hmm. actually, uh, the majority um, of that syllabus is covered on the administrator course. Right. So there's only then that small self-study piece for you to be able to actually go and get the admin and the associate. And then you would then go and get those other two. So that's kind of an easy... Um, an easy win. <laughs> yeah. An easier win, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Um, but, you know, in, in the grand scheme of all those certifications. So, um, but certainly I always say to people, you know, when we chat, and especially if it is that kind of career transition and you're not really too sure where you're perhaps going to sit within that ecosystem, that, you know, pay attention to what you enjoy because that might then start to form your Correct. path for you. Right. So yeah. if you mm -hmm. love that administrator side, as you said, those two certifications are really going to be your next step, the app builder and the the advanced mm -hmm. admin. Um, but if you've got your site set on um, kind of perhaps that consultancy path, mm -hmm. then you might then want to start exploring the sales and service cloud certifications. Correct. So that's, you know, that's something, you know, if that's a real interest, you might be veering in that direction, um, right, you know, right. depending, on, depending on what that looks like. Um, so I think, you know, certainly that business analysis piece, mm -hmm. you know, we see this with our consultancy, don't we, with our consultancy course and people who are coming through new into that ecosystem who do the career bundle mm -hmm. with the admin and the consultancy, because we know that admins need to be 
strategic within their role. So they've got that business analysis piece and, you know, change management and project management in small bite-sized pieces for that role, isn't there? Um, so I think that's another one as well that you would probably be aiming for mm -hmm. and strengthen your skill set. Right. I think that business analysis app is um, or certification is really um, highly valued right now. Those skills are valued. So no matter what role you're in, those skills are very valued. So if you can add that certification on um, it, if, if you're in an administrator role or you're looking to consultancy, wherever you're looking to go, that's kind of one of those universal, I think, certifications that can be applicable for any you know direction you go into. So um, and the consultancy, you brought up a great point about that, the sales and service cloud. I mean, the high majority of Salesforce professionals use both of those, um, you know, those clouds, sales and service cloud. So um, that's an area that is always good to add on, I think, because if you're no matter what role you're in, you're probably going to be coming in contact with that. And especially I, I would say service cloud, too, is really important right now because we're really, um, you know, customer service and, um, you know, what we're doing nowadays with our um, just paying attention to the customer more. It's really important. So having that service cloud certification, I think is really important. So yes, so we've gotten, let's see, we're talking about platform app builder, we've gotten um, advanced administrator certification, um, business analysis cert, uh, service cloud, sales cloud. Um, I think beyond that, it really, again, de depends on, you know, what direction are you going to go? Um, if you feel like, you know, you want to kind of go more in the direction of user experience, marketing, something like that, you might want to look into marketing cloud, right? That's a really, um, you know, in demand, I guess, uh, skill and certification to have right now. So, and you might discover that as you're an admin that you really enjoy that piece of Salesforce. So you might want to go and get your marketing cloud certification. Yeah. And I think yeah. it's important to understand, isn't it, that whatever path you choose, there's always kind of a next step after right. that, that kind of natural next step. So for mm -hmm. example, you know, the sales and service cloud, you might want to um, niche down into those areas and then go and do that consultancy piece. And you can do that with the marketing cloud. You know, mm -hmm. you can pretty much, when we think about consultancy, you can kind of do that general consultancy piece, can't you? Which is that right. broader aspect, or you can actually niche down and actually do that consultancy piece that is within that niche. So you right. can do that for marketing cloud as well. So or you can mm -hmm. come through and do the, the two certifications with us here at Supermums, the email specialist and marketing cloud administrator. Mm -hmm. You do need both of those to then go on and do that consultancy piece. But right. there's always kind of growth and there's areas that you can develop into. And it, it's almost like a kind of like a tree, isn't it? the different branches yeah. that you can come right. off and, and go into. Um, and we do know that obviously niching down into areas does give us that kind of expert Advantage. knowledge mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and does give us that financial security. So right. certainly around that, there's always going to be more and that you can go and learn, which is what I love really, don't you, <laughs> Diane, about Salesforce. It's kind of mind blowing, really the directions that you can go in. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what you can do. Um, and, you know, you might want to go and if you're someone who's going to go more into developer route, mm -hmm. um, you can even do that within marketing cloud. You can um, go into some DevOps areas if you want. Um, I know that during our consultancy skills course, we teach a little bit, we touch a little bit on DevOps and we have some of our partners that do um, free DevOps training in our consultancy course. Um, and there's other partners that will, you know, have free courses on DevOps. So if that's a direction that you want to go into, you can always do that. And I think even niching down even more into industry is something um, that's really important too. So for instance, you know, that we have a health cloud, education cloud, all those different areas. So if you even want to get that specific and niche down into a particular cloud, you can do that as well. Um, depending on the industry that you're in. So those are all kind of value added certifications that you can add on. Um, and as your knowledge grows, it becomes easier and easier to kind of go in that direction and discover which one where you want to go. 
And um, I know there's one certification that I do get a lot of <clears throat> trainees talking about that they like to get to, and that is the um, CPQ to certification. Oh, yes. So that's just kind yeah. of for anybody. I think anybody who wants to just add on um, a certification that's going to be valued across the board, that would be another one that I would recommend that you add on to. Yeah, that's really popular, isn't it, at the mm -hmm. moment, a really mm -hmm. kind of in-demand one to, to go for. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, we're just talking about really the most common certificates that you would go for probably within kind of that two-year span, isn't it? You know, these are, we know that these are the natural steps that you can take, but there's so much more than mm -hmm. that that you can, that you can right. go and explore. And I kind of think, you know, that consultancy piece, going back to that consultancy piece, you know, Obviously, there is training outside of super moms, but certainly for us, which are the most common areas, I would say, with that sales and service cloud and that business analysis um, certification, um, you know, we do cover some of that content, don't we, on the consultancy, which is why it's a great right. bundle, because, right. you know, you can then go and do that self-study piece around those. But we do touch on that. So we start that path for mm -hmm. you of going mm -hmm. and doing, you know, of going and doing those certifications. Um which right. is a great kind of insight, isn't it, as well into into those areas? Mm -hmm. It's a good add on to, you know, if you're a, um, a Salesforce administrator right now, mm -hmm. you're kind of thinking about that next step. You've got your admin certification, maybe your platform app and you're looking at sales, service cloud, um, business analysis skills. You know, we, going and taking our consultancy skills course is a great way to discover all those um, areas and and learn and see if you, you know, you want to take those certifications. It's great to add on um, to your toolkit. So to your skill set. So. Um, yes. Uh, any questions? <laughs> we're talking so much. Um, we, we don't have any questions right now, uh, which is interesting. But if you have any questions or comments or maybe talk about some of the certifications um, that you have had or are thinking about getting, definitely drop them in the comments. Um, again, we're just kind of touching on what are the most popular certification and what should you do really that first year? I think Really, the first step is right getting your first certification. Yeah. <laughs> um, so don't get overwhelmed by thinking yeah. too far ahead and too too much in advance, um, because getting through, especially that Salesforce administrator certification, can be a challenge. And um, you should be really proud once you um, take that step. But you are going to probably be thinking ahead, and you'll you'll understand the certification process a lot better, and it'll be easier to to then add on subsequent certifications. I like what you said about the associate, the Salesforce associate certification. That's a great way to build up your confidence. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of that material is covered in our training program. So you'll be able to take that associate certification while you're training um, and you'll feel a little bit more confident. I think the best thing about that certification is it gives you a clue as to how the tests are formatted. Yes. So what you can expect in that uh, when you do take the admin certification. So that's a great piece, I think, to be added on. And I think it's really just about building up your confidence and um, showing yourself that you can do it uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, um, you can progress ahead. So if there's any questions, please do put them uh, in the comments. We'll come back and answer any questions later if you have any um, any time today, Maria and I will be checking and make sure yeah. that we answer your questions. But, um, you know, we have our Salesforce administrator training class. Next class starts in May. So if you're yeah. thinking about, you know, if you're at that point right now where you're thinking about taking that first step and really that's kind of the most popular place for for Salesforce um, in, you know, anybody interested in Salesforce to start is at that administrator training and to get that administrator certification, our next class starts in May. So we're excited about that. It's not that far away, is it really either? And um, if you are kind of thinking about taking those first steps, we do have our relaunch your career bootcamp happening this week in a mm -hmm. private Facebook group and also streaming into a YouTube channel. So certainly if it's something that you're still exploring and you want some more information, this week is just jam packed full of information about taking those first steps and whether it might be that right fit for you to do that. So we would love to see you in boot camp as well. Right. Um, I just put the link. So hopefully everyone will see that. So if you haven't joined our relaunch your boot camp 
sign up, register for it. Um, we've had content to over the last couple of days, and but you're able to, once you join the boot camp, you're able to access that, those recordings and the videos that we've had over the last two days. We'll be going through till Friday. Um, and you and I will be doing a live Q&A session on Friday. Yes. So we um, can answer any question at that time. But it's really, it is jam-packed with lots of information, not just, you know, about your career. So not just about training, but anything in the Salesforce ecosystem and about, you know, good career advice. And you'll learn from some of our trainees that have gone through the program and hear from everybody within the Super Moms team. So it's, it's a great, it's a great place to just um, learn if you're, if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence, you're not sure where to go and you just want to learn more about it. It's a, it's a great avenue for that. Yeah, so. definitely quite overwhelming all of the information isn't it you know yeah. I was talking to somebody today and it's actually quite a lot of information so boot camp I think is such a nice way mm -hmm. to be able to do little bite-sized pieces isn't it mm -hmm. kind of keep coming back and you know without too much overwhelm of of what that transition might look like so yeah hopefully right. we get to see some new faces well good all right. Well, so um, hopefully that you've get uh, we've given you some good tips or um, advice on what we feel would be the best certifications to get in your first year um, in the Salesforce ecosystem. But uh, obviously, as Maria said, there's so many certifications out there. Salesforce is always adding on to their learning, um, and there's so much more that you can learn. And you'll decide that once you get you know, comfortable in your role and you understand what your path might be important to niche down into a particular area, the area that you like the most and what you feel you're going to thrive in. So there's always a different direction to go and more certifications to add on, super badges, all that. We, we, could, we could get in, we could have this discussion could go on for a long time, but we just wanted to kind of give you um, those certifications that are the most popular and what most people choose in their first year to kind of add value and um, help them in their particular role and distinguish themselves, I guess, in the Salesforce ecosystem. Brilliant. Great. As always, reach out to us. If you have any questions, feel free to drop something in the comments. We'll come back and we'll answer your questions and we'll see you again next week. <laughs> bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye, everyone.